Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I just wanted to share to you my microblading experience. Yes, nagpa microblade po ako ng kilay because I have a problem with my eyebrows. Actually, putol yung kilay ko as in wala siyang tail. As you can see, siguro kapag ka nakas um, bare-faced ako, hanggang dito lang yung kilay ko. Like so, so wala siyang tail talaga. And as in pareho. So, nung una, medyo takot ako magpa microblade. It's because I don't want masaktan. Alam mo yun na um, feeling ko masakit siya. Kasi syempre, i-blade eh. Sinihiwain ng blade yung skin para kumapit yung pinaka um, thin. Pero I actually have a friend na nakita ko na nagpa-microblade siya and ang ganda nung gawa. So I've um, decided na yes, why not? Since I have a problem now with my kilay and I just wanted lang naman to try out kung magiging maganda yung result sa akin. So if ever, okay siya. And yun nga, matagal din yung um, kumbaga efficacy, magtatagal siya sa, sa skin mo, yung pinaka-tint. So, as long as masusunod mo yung um, instructions na sasabihin nila sa sa'yo are after care of the microbladed eyebrows. And also, it depends din on your skin type. So, if you have oily skin, it depends din kung gano'ng katagal sa skin mo or sa'yo yung eyebrows. So, I have a combination skin type. And actually, tinatanong naman din nila yun bago din sila magbigay ng instructions sa'yo and also informations about the microbladed eyebrows. So, um, pinagawa ko yung aking microbladed eyebrows. Again, guys. And, as you can see, ayan siya. Buo na siya, guys. It has the tail. Actually, wala akong nilagay na any eyebrow product on my face. Pero may makeup ako, guys. I just use for my base. This one is yung Bello. Tinted sunscreen. I use powder. I use um tinted. Uh, I mean, I use lip tints. And then yung aking um, tint din yung ginamit ko for my blush. And also, I use this um eyeliner. Ayan. For my wing. Pero wala akong nilagay na eyebrow product. So, ayan guys, healed na yan actually. I'm in my, like, more than two weeks of healing time na nitong microbladed ko. So, I'm just giving you or sharing you my experience. Yung healing process nito on my, um, yung, yung eyebrows ko on my face. So, day one, of course, nagpagawa ko. And by the way, pinagawa ko pala tong aking eyebrows sa Miss Derm. Ilalagay ko yung kanilang link down below sa description box. And they actually, um, mas gusto nila yung magpapa uh, reserve ka ng slap ma before you go there. Kasi marami talaga nagpapagawa sa kanila, guys. And ako, nagpa-reserve ako ng slap ko. So, ayun. Nagawa naman siya. And I'm so loving it, guys. As in, wala talaga akong nilagay. Alam mo yung paggising mo, may kilay ka na, and pwede ka nang lumabas anytime na hindi mo na kailangan magkilay kasi ako, okay lang naman sa akin na lumalabas minsan ng walang makeup, walang, I mean, hindi ako nagkikilay. Pero, kapag kasi nag-makeup ako, and hindi masyadong ayos yung kilay ko, so, yun. Isa rin kasi sa problema ko, hindi ako ganun kagaling magkilay, kaya, pinag-decide na rin ako na ipagawa siya. So, nung pinagawa ko to, first, nang nandun na ako sa pinaka um, clinic nila, medyo alam mo yun, kinakabahan ako baka masakit, ganyan. Lalo na may mga nauna na sa akin na naka-reserve and na sasabing na or naririnig ko na medyo masakit daw, ganyan. So, medyo alam mo yun, may takot ako kahit o paano pero wala na nandun ako na reserve na yung slot ko. So, why not try it? So, nung nandun ako first is ibababad nila yung eyebrows mo with anesthesia. So, okay naman siya. Um, Nag-wait ako around 30 minutes para mag-take effect yung anesthesia. It's just topical anesthesia, guys. So, if takot ka sa injection, no worries about that kasi hindi ka naman tuturo ka ng, in ng anesthesia. Is, yun lang. Topical lang naman ilalagay nila sa iyong eyebrows. And then, after 30 minutes, ipaprep na nila yung gagawa nila ng a microblade sa'yo. So, Gagawin na nila yun. Um, the procedure took around 45 minutes. Both kilay na sa akin yun na. I'm not sure sa iba. Pero for my eyebrows, isang pair na siya. It's 45 minutes. And um, yung experience ko, if you're gonna ask me, hindi ko na i-sugarcoat. Medyo nasaktan ako ng konti. Um, hati actually yung kilay, ng, yung part ng kilay na may masakit. Yung dito, sa may um, pinaka 
inner corner ba tawag dyan, hanggang middle part is hindi masyadong masakit. I mean, wala akong nararamdaman. Naririnig ko lang yung stroke nung blade na ginagamit nila, but then wala akong nararamdaman ng sakit. But then when it comes to the tail, medyo meron akong nararamdaman ng konting sakit. Nararamdaman ko na yung hiwa nung blade. Um, hindi sa tinatakot ko kayo guys, they have their explanation on that. Pero pwede naman namang sabihin, they will add more topical anesthesia and they will wait para mag um, take effect din yun bago nila gawin ulit yung part na medyo masakit. So, they said that it's more bony area compared to this one. Kasi nga naman, tinry ko rin naman kapain, no? Medyo may mga laman nga dito yung part ng kilay compared to the tail part. So, yung kumbaga parang up bone ba? Yung dito, medyo nakikinig sa scientific tayo, guys. And may medyo mas yan nga, prone yung bone dito. So, mas makakapang mo yung, bones, yung bone. So, yun nga, mas masakit daw doon. Or mas hindi masyado nag-e-effect yung topical anesthesia. is just because konti yung subcutaneous or yung pinakataba or yung laman dito. Banda sa tail ng kilay. So, they have the explanation naman. So, it's okay for me. So, nilagyan naman ulit nila ng second round of anesthesia dun sa part na may tail. And then, take effect naman. So, natapos yung procedure ang 45 minutes. So, it's okay. And then, they gave me an ointment. They said that um, para yun sa aftercare, I will put that on the third day and up to fifth day. Yeah, third day to fifth day. So, ganito yung mangyayaring for aftercare, guys. Hindi mo siya pwedeng basain yung kilay mo for five days. And, lalagay mo yung ointment on the third day ng five days na yun. So, from third day to fifth day, ilalagay mo ng ointment. Hindi mo lilinisin or gagalawin yung kilay mo. You just need to put the ointment on morning and night. Twice a day yon. And, ayun nga, yung pinakamahirap na part dun, guys. Ang hirap maligo. Alam mo yun, ang hirap maghilamos. Ang hirap maligo. And, eto pa, dinagdagan ko pa yung kalbaryo ko, no, ano po, kasi nagpa-lash lift ako. And, hindi mo rin pwedeng basahin yung lashes mo ng 12 hours after the procedure. Pero yung lash lift, 30 minutes lang, medyo madali lang. So, ayan yung aking lashes, as you can see. Ah, Naka-lift na siya, naka-perm na siya, guys. And they said that it will last you for 4 weeks. It's around 2 weeks now. Pero natutuwa pa rin ako sa effect niya. Though, ayan nga, medyo nahihirapan ako maghilamos minsan. Kasi na, naisip ko baka kapag kinisut ko is niyan mo wala na yung pagka-perm niya pero no it's not it stays there so sobrang natuwa ako sa gawa ng Miss Derm and I would like to thank the other technicians sa sobrang um, informative if may tanong ka sasabihin talaga sa nila lahat sa iyo like the information that you really need to know especially yung after care kung ano yung mga bawal mong gamitin sa face mo bawal kang mag rejuvenating set bawal kang mag any type of toner na medyo may Um, whitening effect kasi bawal mo madaanan ng anything na may parang um, baka matanggal yung pinaka tint na nilagay nila on your eyebrow. So, ayan. And I have, and I've been using naman sobrang light, um, I mean, sobrang gentle na cleanser. So, okay na, okay na naman yun for me. So, ayun nga, the first thing is, ang hirap talaga maglinis ng mukha. Ang hirap maglinis ng, alam mo yun, madali na maligo ng katawan, pero mahirap maligo ng hair, ng ulo, kasi iisipin mo baka madaan ng tubig yung yung um, what you call it? Yung, yung eyebrows. So, what they told me, kasi naisip ko din, actually, tinanong ko na rin sila kung ano yung pwedeng gawin if ever gusto mong maligo, pero ayaw mo mabasa yung, yung eyebrows. They told me to use a Tegaderm. So, here's the Tegaderm, guys. And yun nga lang, medyo pricey ang Tegaderm. So, Nung binili ko to, actually, isang beses ko lang siya ginamit and medyo mahal siya. It's 240 for one piece. Ayan, yun yung itsura niya. And kapag inopen mo to, actually, dalawa yung binili ko. Pero ang ginamit ko, pareho kasi, um, kinat ko pa siya. Hindi siya actually a Tegaderm for kilay, guys. This is a Tegaderm for wounds, like wounds sa cesarean section, ganun. So, medyo malaki siya compared to a kilay. So, ayan. Medyo kinat ko pa siya. So, it depends on you na lang. Pero, yun. Naprotektahan naman niya yung kilay ko. Pero, once ko lang siya ginamit, on my fourth day, na talagang gustong-gustong-gusto ko nang magbasa ng buong katawan ko. So, yun lang. And then, I'm going to show you the 
healing process. Pinituran ko siya every day. So, actually, wala akong nakitang peeling from day 1 to 3. Um, so, continue ko lang paglalagay ng ointment. And, magda-dark siya, guys. As in, mas dark pa sa hair nyo. I have a medyo brown hair. So, mas nag-dark pa siya. Since, yun nga yung healing process niya. Para siyang maglalangib or something. Pero, don't peel it, guys. Hayaan siyang mag-peel mag-isa. So, ako, nakitaan ko siya ng peeling around 4th day up to 7th day. They said na mag heal siya like 5 days healing time. Pero, it depends pa rin sa katawan niya yun kung ilang araw siyang mag-heal. Ako, nag-total heal siya or nag-total peel na rin yung buong kilay ko ng last days for the 7th day. As in, one week talaga siyang nag-heal. Pero, so far, okay naman siya. And, um, by the way, yung price point is 3,000 pesos or 2,999 for two sessions na siya, guys. So, yung first session, magbabayad ka na ng 2,999 pesos. And, babalik ka after 40 days for retouch. So, ayusin pa nila yan for um, the next day or next retouch mo after 40 days. So, I am still counting on it. I will try to do a vlog kapag ka bumalik ako for my second, um, session. So, tutry kong gawa ng vlog yon And, ayun, so far, nagustuhan ko yung aking microblading. I don't need to put on eyebrow pencil pa. So, depende na rin naman sa inyo. Pero ako kasi, ever since um, light makeup lang naman talaga yung ginagawa ko, never na ako nag-put pa. Never pa akong nag-try ulit after ko magpagawa ng do. Hindi pa ako naglagay ng eyebrow product. Anything sa kilay ko. So, makeup lang lahat. Pero, yung eyebrow is nilalampasan ko na siya. So, ayun lang guys, yung aking experience on my microblading first session and also my lash lift. So, ayan. And, nagustuhan ko sila. Sobrang highly recommended ko ang Miss Durm. If you want to try them out, you can check their Instagram account. And, yun. Pwede kayo magpa-reserve doon through Instagram or may website din sila guys. Silagay ko lahat ng link down below sa description box if you wanted to. By the way, the lash lift is around 600 pesos lang. So, sobrang sulit na rin siya, guys. So, ayun lang, guys, yung aking um, experience with my microbladed brows. I will try to vlog this sa second session kung kaya ko talaga. So, since ECQ tayo, sarado din yung Mr. I'm not sure if when are they going to open. So, just check na lang then their Instagram account. That's it guys for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Thank you so much again for watching this video guys. I hope to see you on my next time. Bye!